All right, y'all, so the only BKB here today, we just finally got this in the mail. Um, Crazy Owls, this is the Mayan Germinator, like World War II style helmet or whatever. Um, so we're gonna unbox this bad boy. We're gonna do a review on it. Um, I'm gonna go over my thoughts on it. I've had a couple different helmets with this same kind of style. I'm gonna tell y'all what I think about it, man, and hopefully save y'all the headache of well, man, which German style war, World War II style helmet should I buy? Um, if you are watching this video, then you probably already have looked up and done some research and you've probably came across the Fly 9mm helmet. You probably came across uh, Crazy Owls. Um, and I am going to open this up with y'all and we're going to go over it and we're going to talk about the whole thing in general. I have already, fair warning, I've already opened it up, tried it on. I already have my general thoughts on it, but I'm going to reopen it with y'all. I put everything back in here. Only thing that's been tampered with really was just the tape and stuff. But we're going to open it back up again for the first time. So y'all can see what comes with it, all that good, cool stuff. And um, we'll talk about it. I'll put it on so y'all can see it. Give y'all my thoughts on this one versus the one that I used to have, which was the Fly 9mm helmet and what I think about it. So here we go. All right, so here we are at my little table right here where I always do like all my little unboxing stuff or like whatever. So this is the package. Boom, Crazy Owls, DOT approved. No more mushroom head. Uh, size medium, that's what my head is. Um, anyway, put this on here so nobody ain't trying to pull up at my house and rob me, which if you do, I got something for that. So keep that in mind if I ever do forget to do this right here. I'll be waiting on you. But anyway, so pop this bad boy open here. This is my receipt or whatever, which we're not gonna go through because it has my info on it. The helmet comes in this little cheapo mesh bag thing, which I guess would be a good thing anyway to have on you. So you probably throw this in a little saddle bag or something if you got one man and you know, put some clothes in it, whatever the case may be, just to give you a little something to kind of neaten some things up in there instead of just chunking it all in. Here's the helmet. Bada bing, bada boom. Looks pretty good. I like it. Like I said, I've already took it out, checked it out and everything. It's got some nice little cushion in here. Feels pretty good. It's got a little bit of density to it, you know, so that way if you happen to run your face down the asphalt going 60 mile an hour like myself here a couple years ago when I hit a deer, you'll be okay. And I didn't even have a helmet on, you know. Lord definitely blessed me. RIP to our brothers that we lost out on the highway. And why I got a second chance, I don't know, but I'm here. And uh, from now on, I'll be wearing one of these, which I've been wanting to get one. Like I said, the one I had before was the uh, Fly 9 Mule um, German helmet style like this, which I'm definitely gonna get into and let y'all know my thoughts about this whole entire thing. So. Anyway, overall, um, this is the helmet. I'm just flipping around while I've been talking. Um, this is just a little stuff about the company. Um, something about, I guess it's just telling you how it's a half face or whatever on the back. It opens up, what do we, what's it got in here? Uh, yeah, we don't care about that. It's talking about how you use it. If you don't know how to use it, you put it on your dome piece and that is it. But DOT approved. It's definitely super light. Like, I'm not even going to lie. When you open, when you even pick the box up, man, it just, it don't even feel like there's nothing in it. But anyway, we're going to move back over there to the pool table. Turn the camera back around, man. We're going to plop this bad boy on our Jimmy Neutron 5 head. And we're going to see what we think. And I'm going to tell you all my thoughts. So we're back over here. We got the helmet. Um, show you all a little bit more of a view of it from right here just because I know how everybody likes to see what they're going to be ordering. I know I do. That's why we all do research and that's why you're watching this video. So, uh, you know, but anyway, like I said, I'm going to put it on so y'all can see it. We're going to talk about it and everything. I'm going to rip this little tag off right here. Uh, one thing I definitely like, which I can go ahead and tell you straight out the gate that the nine millimeter helmet didn't have was a quick release right here. So instead of you trying to loop it through that little metal ring all the time, and having to figure out how to take it off. Now all you gotta do is take this, pull it, you know, and it'll come off your head. So we are gonna put this on. I'm gonna talk about it with y'all. And uh, one thing that I'm gonna go ahead and tell you straight up is if you are looking at one of these um, style helmets and you don't want one, 
that is going to give you the big Mario Kart looking daggone mushroom on top of your head. Do not buy the fly, the fly nine millimeter. Do not buy it because I bought it. I was looking at it online and you can't really tell it till you get it. And then that's when you figure it out. So I'm trying to make these videos to save you money and save you the trouble because if I'd have done more research than what I would have, I'd have never bought the fly nine millimeter to start with. So what I mean by that is you see how low profile this one looks. Now you about to see what I mean when I put it on my head. The nine millimeter one looked like this online and everything. It looked like it was low pro down like this. It looked like it would have sat real good and low on your head up here. You wouldn't have been way up here. When I'm telling you I put it on when I got it, I looked like Abraham Lincoln. That's how daggone high up it sat on my head. And that is not what I wanted. So what I mean by that, and we're going, I'm going to plop this thing on here so y'all can see. Bear with me while I find out or figure out where everything's at. I ain't gonna tighten it all the way, but just to kind of give you an idea here. All right, so anyway, here we go. This is this one. Now, when I put this on my head, here's me from the side. I might as well turn around too. And here's me from the back, all right? Now, turn back around here. It sits low on my head. You know what I'm saying? Which is what I wanted. I wanted something that sat low on my head and we'd be riding, we'd be good. And like I said, if you want to take it off, all I gotta do is pull this, pull that out and you're good to go. This one sits way more low pro on your head, you know what I'm saying, than the Fly 9 millimeter. The Fly 9 looks like it's way the heck up here when you buy it. Now, I don't know what this looks like to y'all, but compared to me buying the Fly 9 millimeter and putting this one on my head, it's a completely different story like completely and i guarantee you it's gonna look even better on the bike to begin with so um all i got to tell you man is if you're looking at getting a low pro one like i said these people ain't sponsoring me i paid over a hundred and something dollars for this helmet um luckily it was on sale i think for like the fourth of july but i think it's a little bit more expensive than the fly nine millimeter as it should be i'm not gonna lie compared to just the way it sits on your head that extra little bit of money is definitely worth it you know what i'm saying and it's dot approved we all know i mean even if you have a full face helmet on a three four hundred dollar one if you smack a car or you smack a tree or something going 60 plus you might not make it anyway you know a lot of us are into this for safety of course and all i'm trying to say is you obviously know if you're getting a half face helmet or whatever it's definitely not going to help all this it'll help you take a hit up here but it's definitely not going to protect all this but my point is whether or not you buying it for looks or whatever you buying it for let's all be real a full face helmet is not going to save you from breaking your freaking neck if you get wrapped around a tree or whatever to be honest i'm just trying to save y'all money man is all i'm getting at and i want you to buy something that i know you're going to like that I know is not going to look like you got a freaking mushroom on top of your head, which this one does not. This one actually looks pretty freaking good, especially compared to the 9mm helmet. That's all I'm saying. So if you've been looking at these helmets and you're planning on buying a German-style helmet like this, I'm going to go ahead and say, save you the trouble. Do not buy the Fly 9mm. Like I said, these people ain't sponsoring me. I care less about none of that. All I care about is my money. I care about you saving your money and you getting what you want. So you can get this one in matte black, which is what I got, or you can get it in like the glossy black. I don't really like the glossy, shiny. I like the matte stuff because it's just, that's just my thing. And Crazy Owls or BikerHelmets.com, where this comes from, has got all kinds of different helmets for whatever suits you fancy. You know what I'm saying? But I like this. I got it. I did my research. Here's some more research for you. You know what I'm saying? If you like it, go with it. I encourage you to, because like I said, I think it's way better than the Fly 9 millimeter. And there might be something even better than this, but this is what I wanted to fork out of my pocket and was wanting to afford to buy. And I'm glad I did because it just looks and feels so much better. Now, keep in mind when you buy a half face or whatever helmet like this, Air's going to be blowing up in here and it's going to try and lift it up off your head while you're riding. So you're going to have to strap that bad boy down tight regardless. So that's going to happen with any kind of half helmet, you know, if some of y'all are new to riding or whatever. But like I said, not to get off topic, which I'm usually pretty good at doing. If you were looking into getting a half face German style helmet 
I definitely suggest Crazy Owls because this one is definitely low profile, meaning it does not sit way, way up on your head or it don't have all this extra cushion built in to where it's like Abe Lincoln's top hat on top of your head. That, no, nobody likes that. I don't like that. I think it looks dumb. And yes, let's be honest, some of us would actually look somewhat cool on the motorcycle instead of extra safe. That might come back to bite me in the comments, but I'm just here to be honest. That's why I'm making this video. For the people that are here to save money and want to do some kind of research, here you go. Crazy Owl's Mine Germinator or German style World War II helmet is DOT approved for those of y'all that live in a state to where you have to wear a helmet. I live in South Carolina. We do not have to wear a helmet, but I do feel a little bit more safer conscious wise having something on and it just, it looks super good, man. It looks super good. So if you're in the market and you're wanting to buy a helmet, especially one like this, go check them out. Like I said, I'm not sponsored for none of this. I'm just trying to help you make the right decision. And instead of buying two helmets or buying one that you don't like, here you go. And there's plenty of pictures on their website you can go check out, um, different reviews. They've got crash reviews on there also to help you feel a little bit better about how thin it is, how light it is. I mean, literally, it's, it's super duper light. But they got crash reviews on there too of people that's bought them. And I mean, skin it all the way down to the bone in here and like they were perfectly fine so that did make me feel a little bit better about buying it but one more time we'll throw it on man and uh so that way y'all can check it out and like i said unlike the uh the fly nine mil this one has the quick detach on here i haven't even set it up to me yet or nothing like that obviously um i wouldn't ride with it like this but there you go no more mushroom head, man. It looks pretty freaking daggone good. Not even gonna lie. And like I said, trying to save y'all money, man. So front, side, I ain't gonna spin around again. Y'all can always back the video up if you want to. I'm just here to save you money and hopefully help you make a right decision as far as finances go when it comes to doing research and helmets and all that. So. Whatever you want to do, hell, I don't care if you want to go buy three or four different helmets and do them yourself, try them out. I can't even, there we go, and figure out what you want. But I'm just here to tell you, I've had to fly nine mule. It looked like a mushroom on top of my head. This one does not look like that whatsoever. I love it. I can't wait to ride with it. I might even ride with it when I get off of here and just try it out because I've been waiting on it to come in for like two weeks and I'm ready to go daggone ride. So, anywho, without further ado, if y'all could, man, um, please subscribe to the channel, share it, share it to a friend or whoever you know that might be looking for something like this. It helps my channel, which I appreciate a whole lot, man. And I always love getting likes. Um, y'all comment, say whatever you want, man. It don't matter to me. I'm not gonna block anything. YouTube might, you know what I'm saying? But I won't, y'all feel free to go down there and. I don't care. Write whatever you want to. But I hope y'all have a great day, man. I hope you subscribe, like the video at least, and maybe go check out some other videos. I always got new stuff coming in for the bike, and I'm trying to review everything that comes in. So, uh, yeah, man, like I said, I appreciate it. And I hope this helped you out with a little bit more research, especially trying to look for stuff on YouTube and, uh, you know, find out about a helmet, man. So, appreciate y'all. Peace out and much love, man. Go follow me on Instagram and go check out the TikToks. Subscribe on YouTube. Peace out.